Hey, I'm Luke, Bike Assembly Manager here with Competitive Cyclists. Today we're going to walk you through the installation of Campagnolo's new Ecker 1x13 drivetrain. We'll be providing you with tips and tricks along the way to ensure smooth installation. Okay, let's dive right in. We'll start with rotors. Apply grease to the center lock splines on the rotor. Once that's done, we'll install the rotors onto the wheels and torque the lock rings to spec. Next, the cassette. Campy has implemented a new driver body standard. The driver is compatible with 11 and 12 speed cassettes with an adapter. Be sure to remove the adapter if applicable. Align the channels of the driver body to the cassette and install, then torque to spec. Now we'll want to run our shift cable housing through the frame. With the help of an internal routing tool, feed the housing through the applicable ports on the frame. This process can take some time, so patience is key. Once the housing has been routed, we want to run the rear brake line. Again, utilize the internal routing tool to aid in this process. Loosely install the rear brake lever onto the handlebars. Then install the cable grommet and sleeves onto the brake and shift line. Now we'll run the front brake through the fork. If possible, try to feed the line through the fork without having to cut it. We'll want to install the bottom bracket and crank set next. Apply grease to the BB threads and the non-drive side BB cup. Install the cup fitting and loosely thread into the frame. Then install the drive side BB cup. Once both cups have been hand tightened, torque to spec. Now for the cranks. Start by applying grease to the bearing contact points and crank set fixing teeth. Push the drive side crank into the frame. Then take the supplied wavy washer and place it into the non-drive side. Feed the non-drive crank arm into the frame, loosely install the fixing bolt, and torque to spec. Lastly, we'll install the fixing pin into the drive side bottom bracket cup. Next, install the derailleur and torque to spec. Once completed, install the front and rear wheels and remove the bike from the stand because we'll want to make adjustments to our cockpit. Once the levers have been set to the proper riding position, torque to spec. Then place the bike back into the stand and remove the wheels. Now we'll return to the rear brake. Measure the rear brake line at the bar and at the caliper. The bar should be able to spin freely without tugging on the line. Cut the cable using a hydraulic cutter and install the included barb using a needle driver. Then fix the cable end to the caliper. Torque to spec. Clean up any mineral oil and loosely install the caliper to the frame. Remove the brake pads and push the pistons back into the caliper using a plastic tire lever. Reinstall the pads and place the rear wheel into the frame. The rotor should not rub against the brake pads. Make micro adjustments until this is achieved, then torque to spec. Repeat this process with the front brake. Let's size the chain. Wrap the chain around the chain ring and largest cog without threading it through the derailleur and pull tight. While maintaining tension, add two links to the overlapping ends. Using a 13-speed Campagnolo-specific chain breaker, remove the excess links. Then feed the chain through the derailleur and reconnect the chain. That brings us to the shift cable. Measure the housing to prevent any kinks in the system and cut to length using a cable cutter. Install the housing ferrules and route the shift cable through the housing. Feed the cable through the derailleur and tighten using the fixing bolt. The cable should be taut but not overly tight. Cut the cable using cable cutters and install the supplied cable end. Now it's time to adjust the limits and bead tension on the derailleur. We'll start with a low limit. Use a 2 mm Allen key to vertically align the smallest sprocket to the derailleur cog. Now shift to the highest gear and we'll adjust the high limit. When shifting, the derailleur should not push beyond the largest cog. Once set, shift down one gear and adjust the bead tension. The gap between the largest sprocket and derailleur cog should be no less than three millimeters. Once the limits are set, run through the shifting and adjust cable tension using the turn screw on the derailleur. Make micro adjustments until shifting is smooth and quiet. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys are as excited as we are about this new drivetrain. If you have any questions about Campy Ecker, please feel free to give us a chat, call, or email. We'll see you out on the gravel.